Good morning, everybody. Great morning. Happy Monday morning to you. It is going to be a great week this week. Got some morning manna for you on this morning. Uh, happy Monday. I know you're going to have a great week because there is a great word for you on this morning. If it's your first, second, or third time joining us on this morning, let us know. It's morning manna. Love to uh, plant the word into your life. And, and this is kind of the rules of engagement, if you will, how we flow with morning manna. We love to get the hearts and the likes, your comments, because uh, the revelation that you get as a result of the manna uh, is a revelation that can help somebody else. And then we want you to share of the manna. I want you to share the manna. And we always give you the manna in this format. It always It is always the text, the talk and the takeaway. It's always the text, the talk, and the takeaway. And here we go with this morning's man. I got a question for you and I need you to answer this question. Have you ever felt like if it ain't one thing, it's another? Have you ever felt like, boy, when I got that thing squared away, here comes another thing. When I got that bill paid, here's another thing that came up. I thought everything was squared away and something else came up. Here's the text for the talk. The text is 1 Kings 19 and 4. Very brief, very short, but you know it well. I have had enough. I have had enough. Here is Elijah talking, and he is sitting at the broom tree of his life, and as well as physically, and he's running from Ahab, the king, Jezebel, the king's wife, because he's done a tremendous work for God, and they are now after him and saying that we're going to take you out, Elijah. We're sick and tired of your righteous living and you calling us out. We can't take it anymore. And Elijah sits by the broom tree and says, I have had enough. If it ain't one thing, it's another. I don't know about you, but I've often felt that way. So what do you do when you get to those places in life? That if it's not one thing, if it's another, it, I have had enough. Here's the first thing that you got to do. The first thing is stop having your pity party. Just cut it out. Stop with the pity party because the pity party is not going to help you. In verse 5, it says that uh, Elijah sits down and goes to sleep. He is full of self-pity. You're not going to get anywhere sitting around uh, your broom tree of life, playing your violin, talking about how bad you got it. Mm -mm, not going to work. So number one is stop with the pity party. Number two, in verse seven, it says this, you need to step back into the fight. Step back into the fight. Uh, uh, don't get to the point that you can't do anything else because verse seven says that the angel came alongside and says, get something to eat because you've got to step back into the fight, Elijah. This thing ain't over. This ain't over. Here's the third thing that you need to do. Stick with what got you this far. Stick with what got you this far. You know that it was prayer that got you this far. You know that it was reading your word. It was worship. It was all of those things that got you this far. And it's not just a what that you have to stick with. It's a who. Stick with who that has gotten you this far. And it is God Almighty who has gotten you to this point. So what's your takeaway this morning? What's your takeaway with when you get to the point where you've had enough and if it ain't one thing, it's another? Here it is. Stay with God because he's going to stay with you. Stay with God because God is going to stay with you. He's going to get you through this moment. I don't care whether it's physical, whether it's financial, whether it's relational, whether it's familial, whether, whatever the issue is, you stay with God. Come out of your pity party. Get back into the fight and stick with what God has done in your life thus far. The Lord be with you this week. May his face shine upon you, give you peace. Share the manna, share the hearts and the likes, and most of all, share the revelation that you get so somebody else can get it as well. I'll see you Wednesday morning with more morning manna. Have a great day, great week. Bye now.